Baylor was once the cellar dweller in the Big 12. Now they're ahead of Texas, and they've got a showdown with Texas this week, or had one uh, with them uh, last week. Caden was in Stillwater today to get the Cowboys' perspective on the Baylor Bears. Shaq, at the beginning of the year, Oklahoma State and Baylor were picked to finish at the bottom of the Big 12 South. On Saturday, when the Bears and Cowboys get together, the winner will sit atop the Big 12 South. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, I mean, I think if you asked that question, you know, eight weeks ago before the season started, I think, you know, most people would thought you were crazy. Seeing us and Baylor uh, leading it all, it's kind of, a, kind of a weird deal, especially knowing the history of Big 12. I mean, it's just two teams that just kept plugging along, you know, didn't really believe what people were telling them um, early on and just, and just play their game and play well. 7-2 and two and bowl eligible for the first time since 1994. Baylor is better. The Bears fresh off an upset of Texas last week. I think it's a great confidence builder and uh, and I'm sure they're going to use that to motivate them the rest of the way. They are winning with offense. Quarterback Robert Griffin leading a unit that is eighth in the country and second only to OSU in the Big 12. You know, there's teams across the country over the last few years that will run up some big numbers on a week or two or three, but they've consistently run up big numbers and scored points. Shaq, for the first time in series history, Oklahoma State and Baylor meet as top 25 teams. It is a morning kickoff here at Boone Pickens Stadium, 1130. In Stillwater, Caden McFarland, 2 News works for you. Thank you, Caden. OSU will have their best player back this week against Baylor. Justin Blackman has served his one-game suspension.